Welcome to our first theory video on Mariachi Clothing Company uh, YouTube channel. Connotation: the Trumpet players are always playing super loud, which they do. I mean, we all we all play mariachi, guys. We have dynamics, which you will learn in this channel as well. I won't make it A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Think about it. Alien infinity. We have seven symbols, or rather seven names that we use to represent all pitches because this will get way too complex for you after this. Those seven letters correspond to syllables as well, which are La, Si, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, and Sol. You have an infinite amount of notes going up or down in pitch. For the notes that dogs, like dog whistles, that dogs can hear and you can't, whatever note you play matches its pitch on a piano. In music, we don't use the plus or the minus. We use symbols called the sharp and the flat. We need to learn the basics of music, and that involves reading and writing music. So we must learn about the staff. Music that is written on the staff, or en español castellano, tío, joder, uh, or whatever the Spanish people say, we call it pentagrama. No, not that pen... Okay, I, I don't know how to do the diabolical star, so... Not that pentagrama. It's gonna be this one. Now, I don't want your grandma's... Uh, you, mijo, what you learned today? What you do with it? You're in quarantine. I learned about the pentagrama. And they're like, pentagrama del diablo? No, 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 that, not that pentagrama. Music, it's five lines, four spaces. That's a pentagrama. The staff, uh, or pentagrama, is made out of five par parallel horizontal lines and we use it to write music. This gives us five lines, one, two, three, four, five, and four spaces. One, two, three, four. We always number the lines and spaces from the bottom going up. If I were to ask you what note this is, and you answer G, you would be dead wrong and you should be ashamed of yourself because you are incorrect. Because we don't know the staff. Exactly, because we don't know which Clef, we are going to, yes, clef. We don't know which clef goes there. First, we need to learn the clefs. And now, erasing previous knowledge. You don't erase your previous knowledge. You review it and you master it. Don't forget or else. We don't know what note this is until we have something that tells us what these lines mean. We have two clefs or claves in Spanish. I'm like, now I'm trying to, there's a whole point teach you guys English and Spanish and I'm forgetting the Spanish part. Great. So we have two claves or clefs. Clave de sol. Clave de sol, which is one. Thank you to our, our fine director, our man behind the chair, Tasha from Tasha's Imaginarium. Oh, nice plug right there. So we have a treble clef in English. Treble, not trouble, not uh, travo, not whatever. Treble. Oh, it's trouble clef. Treble clef. It might be with one or two Fs, I don't remember. I'm going to leave one F. Uh, and if I'm wrong, I'm just going to add the other F and draw it you know, in post-production. So that's something we gotta do. I'm pretty sure it's one F. So treble clef in Spanish is called clave de sol. Clave de sol nos da una clave. It gives us a clue of where we can find the G on the staff. If you remember the first part of the video, sol is G, G is sol unless you're a trumpet player, in which case your world makes no sense. So, treble clef or clave de sol. Insert blues clues. When we draw the treble clef, we are going to start at line number two. So this is line number two. We do kind of like a sideways nail going up a wall, and that becomes our treble clef. That is called the point of origin. The treble clef, when done right, will tell us where to find G, which is line number two. We know that this note is G or Sol. Once we have this information, 
we can use our deductive reasoning to figure out the rest of the notes. So if I'm on floor G and I go, and now every line and every space, it's its own unique floor. If I'm on floor G and I go down one floor, that becomes floor F or Fa. If I go down another floor, it becomes floor E or floor Mi. Now, what's gonna happen when we run out, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, we run out. What happens if I go up another floor? Just like with numbers, we start repeating them. We go back to the beginning, so that becomes floor A, B, C, etc., etc. From there, this is La. The next line becomes B or C. Then the next one is floor C or Do, not to be confused with C or B. Uh, one very easy way that you can prevent mistakes like that when communicating with fellow musicians is if you are speaking in English, talk in letters. Si estás hablando en español, habla en sílabas. And even another way is if you're saying, oh, uh, play a C for me. You do this and you let them know C as in the letter C, not C as in C. Then from there, the next line becomes D. Again, you're following the alphabet. You can figure this out on your own. I, I mean, if you can't, I would really reconsider my life choice. Then from there, we go to the top line, which is an F or Fa. So there's multiple ways to learn your notes. And all of them usually revolve usually, usually around lines or spaces. So first in English, the notes are E, G, B, D, F. One very common way that teachers do it is every good boy does fine. Every good boy deserves fudge. Now, if you want to practice at home and you don't have the paper, you have five fingers. Every good boy deserves fudge. Every good boy does fine. Bam. So just start doing this and naming your notes. This is D. This is B. Now, in Spanish, there's a really cool one, which it's me, sol, si, re, fa. Those of you guys that speak Spanish, you will be aware of a specific name that we have for people from Mexico City. We call them chilangos or chilaquiles. And people from Mexico City have a very specific way of speaking. They have a, a, a regional accent that they have. La gente de allá del DF habla así como que bien columpiado. So they would be able to say something along the lines of Acá en el DF, mi sol si rifa. If you can remember that, you will never forget that mi sol si rifa. Easy way to remember it. Now, seriedad por favor. Now we gotta remember the spaces. The spaces actually in, by letters, we will spell a word, F. A C E, or as one of my uh, students, she came up with this one is face in the space. Easy way to remember it. There's no fun or interesting way to learn it. So just fa, la, do, mi. Music is pain. Music is knowledge. Go study. Stop trying to come up with cute things.